coffee and go for adventures. Right, in today's episode, I will show you Bangkok, the city where I live. First thing after waking up, a cup of aroma coffee and listening to birds. Next, jumping into a swimming pool to energize my body for a day of adventures. Welcome to Bangkok! Let's go exploring! This is BTS, a sky train, the most convenient way of transportation in Bangkok. I want to show you how you can spend your day in Bangkok to the fullest and bring you around some places I personally like. This is how roads, sidewalks in many places in Bangkok look like. Practically no space. So actually this street is in the city center and very nice. It's been just recently renovated, so the pavement is really good. But still there is no place to walk like in many uh, streets in Bangkok. That's the problem. If you wanna walk and explore the city, it will not be very convenient to you and you have to like get used to being exposed to traffic and moving motorcycles everywhere and you have to kind of get used to that motorcycles will be very 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 close to you like that and <laughs> this is the actually motorcycle stop where they waiting to pick you up actually they're gonna pass you by and honk you it means they don't want to crash into you they just want to pick you up to bring you somewhere This is, for example, a Catholic church located on the eastern bank of the Chao Phraya River. The history of the church dates to 1769, when a group of Portuguese Catholics resettled in the area after the fall of Ayutthaya. I love this little cozy park on the bank of Chao Phraya River. Formerly the site of a sugar factory, Santi Chai Prakan has the riverside pathway heading southwards which allows you to have a serene promenade. The park most prominent landmark is the Prasuman Fort, which was built in 1783. Let's go to our next destination. One of the most famous ways of traveling in Bangkok is by bike, because of never-ending traffic jams. Main roads and little streets are often blocked, because there are too many cars, so only maneuverable bikes can easily go between traffic and bring you to your destination much faster. Bike drivers often bring people to BTS stations or to these kinds of boat stations. Right, boat taxis are also very popular among locals and tourists who want to see Chao Phraya River and have an unforgettable experience for a cheap price from 10 to 20 baht. As an artist, I love going to art galleries and watch other artists' works. Can you imagine in Bangkok they have galleries and shopping malls? This shopping mall, Icon Siam, was opened just recently and its great location on the bank of Chao Phraya River makes it one of the most favorite sites too. By the way, it's located not far from main temples of Bangkok, so after nourishing your soul there, you can nourish your body here. 
My video about best temples in Bangkok is a must watch. Here's the link. As I've mentioned, scooters are number one convenient way of transportation in Bangkok. But if you are new to an Asian country and Asian style of life, driving a scooter like this can be a scary experience. Personally, I prefer driving by myself because I feel I control the situation. But after using the motor taxi every day for a couple of years, I'm used to and now I can even eat or write messages while sitting behind a driver. Would you try that? Everybody have a great day! Oh, I got hungry! When hungry in Bangkok, where do you go? One option is going to one of the numerous big and glossy shopping malls. You can find all Western goods and salespeople will dance for you. But I want to show you how to eat like local Thai people. That's why we are going to Chinatown. Bangkok's Chinatown is one of the largest Chinatowns in the world. It was founded in 1782 when the city was established as the capital of the Ratanakosin Kingdom and served as the home of the mainly Teochew immigrant Chinese population who soon became the city's dominant ethnic group. Nowadays the core of Chinatown lies along Yao Barat Road. It now serves as a hub of Chinese culture with numerous shops selling traditional goods and is especially known as a gastronomic destination. This area is super touristic, so take care of your belongings and don't forget to bargain. Here you can try really unusual snacks like fried scorpions and spiders, fried worms and grasshoppers that you eat like chips. There are Chinese and Thai local dishes in every store. You can find fresh seafood, Chinese herbal tea and freshly squeezed juice. Living in a concrete noisy jungle, I need nature like a fish needs water. And here is the solution for those nature lovers like me. Bangkachao. The island covering 16 square kilometers is called the Green Land of Bangkok. It is located on the other bank of Chao Phraya River and is easily accessible by boat. In 2006, 
Ben Kachau was named Best Urban Oasis by Time in its Best of Asia series. I also love going to parks. Lumpini Park is one of the largest green spaces in central Bangkok. Founded in the 1920s, the inner city park spans over 500,000 square meters and is home to various flora and fauna. I love feeding fish here. The first time in my life I've seen so fat fish. Over the years, it became a popular gathering spot for Bangkok residents who would gather for a round of jogging, light workouts, aerobics, and leisure activities throughout the day. Lumpini Park has something for everyone. Before sunset, you can sweat it out at Lumpini Park's free aerobic sessions and high energy techno tunes or practice free Tai Chi with others. Local jazz outfits, sometimes a classical orchestra, often perform on late Sunday afternoons. If a stroll through the park is more your style, just follow the maze-like pathways that overlook lush gardens, picnic areas, and an artificial lake. There are plenty of sheltered niches where you can read, meditate, and have a picnic. Tourists visiting Bangkok are often scared of these huge lizards, water monitors. In fact, they are quite peaceful and are used to live near humans. They feel good here and love making new babies. However, because there were too many of them and people were scared, the authorities decided to remove them from the park and release in the wild. As you can see, there are still many to catch. If you want to see more about water monitors and wildlife in Thailand, I highly recommend you watching my Thailand National Park series. Check this link. I didn't notice when it got dark. It was such a lovely day. Bangkok at night is especially beautiful. Let's go to eat. Today I want to eat local Thai food. That's why I will try Thai street food. Many people living in Thailand claim Thai food is the best in the world and Thai street food is especially delicious. I want to check this out too. People are highly sociable and they love eating together as friends or a big family. You will never find a Thai person eating alone at his home. I bought chicken outside. Thai street food, so I'm gonna try it now. Just all sticky rice together, fry. 
What a great day I had. Did you like it? See you soon.